Just don't do this at home, kids. It's a big bag, look. Hey, I'm Marcus Bronzy, and this is another episode of What's in the Box. And today we're checking out the Skooma Water device, which is a device which is revolutionizing the way that you enjoy your H2O. So let's get in the box. Usually we have to zoom in on these bits, but this has made it super easy for us. Look, all we have to do is add our super filter to this unit, add our tap water to this unit, and then we can enjoy. I think we can enjoy warm and cold water, which is nice. Also with this, there's a little extra touch. Once you've filtered the water, we can actually add an infusion, which adds things like, from what the people at Skooma have told me when they've said they're gonna send this over, adds uh, minerals and, and, and such, which makes it more suitable for drinking after working out, which makes it more suitable for making cups of tea and coffee. And another thing that it makes it more suitable for, but we can find out as we get stuck in. Also, uh, if you buy one of these, it's good to know you get a 30 day exchange guarantee, 12 months warranty and online customer support as well. Right, it's a big box. So let's uh, do this the right way, which is bring the box unboxing stuff to you instead of you having to see me. All right, cool. That's the first bit that comes off the top. Got one of these boxes here. The first thing that I've seen that we get out of the box is this. All right, let's get it open. Wow. Welcome to the future is what it says. Okay, these must be the infusion bottles. So this is, you can see here, we have a hydration boost. Now we don't drink these by themselves, all right? This is the hydration boost bottle. You can see right here, hydration boost. Very, very nice. Now, and then there's a alkaline boost. Now what we don't do, here you go, and here's the alkaline boost. Now what we don't do is we don't drink these bottles by themselves. These have infusions which add flavor, no, not flavor, minerals and such to the water to make it better for hydration after working out or an alkaline boost, if you're an alkaline boost, an alkaline water drinker. Um, let's have a little smell. I don't know, don't say you can't smell them. A little smell. I can't smell anything, it just looks clear. Hydration boost. Again, can't smell anything, it's clear. Minerals in it, innit? So, anyway, right, so, let's make sure those are properly closed. Is there anything else that tells us more about these? But this is the final step. I've kind of done it in, in reverse, but it doesn't matter. Right, so those are the extra bits that we get on. Oh! And while we're at it, they've given us, given us another box. Coffee balance. And also we have something called sunshine support. I will find out what these are at a later date before we get into them. Sunshine support, is that good for going out in the sunshine? I know what coffee balance is, is good for. Uh, they've also sent us this bag. As you can see, it says skooma here. This might be to hold the whole unit. Maybe this is to hold the whole unit because it's a big, it's, I mean, it's a big, don't do this at home kids, it's a big bag, look. I'm not a small guy. They sent us this bag as well and also this. something to do with maybe it's to do with the filter bits maybe it's to do with the filter bits who knows but we'll find out so here we have the setup manual which is going to tell us how to set things up plug it in refill the water empty the water tank oh wait for free for five oh, okay Ah, there's a waste tank. Okay, there must be a waste. Oh, it's a waste tank when it pulls out the water. Then wait eight to 10 minutes for filtration to happen until all the light indicators are off and the dispense button stops blinking. There's also a video that you can copy, look at as well. I'll be doing all of that after the unboxing. Let's have a look at the unit first. I might have to get this out bit by bit. And then we get the whole thing out. Woo, okay. 
Let's try and piece this together. This is the main device here, as you can see. Don't worry about that, it's just a plug. This is the main device here. That's the, that's the front of it, which I, I guess will be touch screen or whatever. Once we fire it up. This must be the main tank and the filter. It is, let's have a look in here. You can see this is, aha, this is the super. This is the super filter, which says it's recycled using a zero waste box. So you can actually send it back to uh, where it came from and they actually would use zero waste to sort it out. That's really nice because it is about looking after the environment. We need to flush this filter before use. So it's going to take a little bit of setup this, which I'm happy to do. But let's kind of see how it works, it fits together. This. Okay, right. So it looks like this goes in here. Bosh. This is where you get the wastewater. So what this does is as it filters, it actually collects a kind of wastewater. So it filters out the bad stuff, but the, there's kind of like a, how do I say it? Like an exhaust of, um, of, of uh, or an output of, of wastewater, which is water that isn't necessarily the best for drinking. But what they do say is it is good for plants. It's good for your plants. So you can pour this over your plants and it really says with the wastewater, do not drink this water, okay? So we won't be drinking it. This goes on top. Here, where does it go? Here? Nice, all right. Aha! This is what this thing is for. This little thing we've got to spare up. This must be for the special mineral that you add in. You can see here. You can see in this section here, in this section here, you can see that this is where we put in the bottles that add the extra mineral and such to our juice. And then this goes, I don't even know. <laughs> I'll find out where this goes. And then we'll attach the filter. Let's have a little look now, let's see if we can. A little bit that says AIM. Should I be taking this off? It looks like it's something I should be taking off. Oh, if I shouldn't, I'm sorry guys. like it's gagging to be peeled off this. I don't know what happens here. I'm gonna to have to check the full instructions on how this gets put together so I can do this right. And then once we power it up, we should be able to select various modes of water, hot water, cold water, alkaline water, and so on. Wow. It's not a small device, but it has got a four liter tank on it. So that means that is enough drinking water for your day. There's a hole in the top and it says, first we must Insert the filter, twist and align, then we, well, we order a replacement if we need to, and then we're going basically, and it has all of the standby states that we can do. But I think it can do hot water and cold water, which I'm really, really happy about. So, yeah, so this water thing, this filter pops in here, we lock it in, and then we're filtering. So, what we're gonna do is, Take this all to a kitchen environment, plug it all in, let the water drain through it, which takes about eight minutes, it says, or, or, or warm through it, flush it out. The whole thing seems like it takes about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna test the different types of water. I'm not a water sommelier like others, but I'll let you know if there's a little difference in taste of water, especially when it comes to hydrating yourself, a little bit of alkaline water, and probably my favorite capsule to try, the coffee capsule. And we're also gonna find out what the sun one does as well the vitamin d one does as well all right cool catch you in a bit so here's me unboxing the skooma here in a kitchen environment so as you can see here i've not fully assembled it i'm just popping bits and bobs together here that's the uh excess filter where we'll get to in a minute basically when that fills up as it fills the water you empty that regularly we emptied that a few times during the process where we're running the water through the filter but this is just showing the drip tray popping in me working out how to plug it in that's the power up there you can see it has a little power up menu where it shows you a little bit of what's going on yeah, that's me using another camera to film it so you can see a little bit closer what the menu looks like 
Uh, then we get an alkaline bottle and pop that in. And by the way, that menu is pretty easy. It's just touch screen, pretty self-explanatory. How much water, the heat of it, whether you have minerals or not. When you have minerals on as well, the area that you can see me popping the little mineral bottle in lights up too. That's the super filter. Finally worked out how to put it in. I did not need to take that gray bit off it. It just needs to put it in there. And you know, it should be pretty simple for a man like myself. Obviously it's not simple because I'm, I'm a, I'm, too, I'm a simple man. Anyway, look, I popped it in and you basically have to flush it. So we filled it full of water and you flush through the water a few times through the filter and let it settle for a certain amount of time. So that's just showing you it filling up the various receptacles there. When you throw that water, you don't drink that water at all. That water is not for consumption. Uh, yeah, you see the light flashing green there to let us know that it's just going through it and after that's all done that's me pouring myself a refreshing glass of water i haven't shown myself emptying the tank at the back there but you do need to do it a couple of times so quick one to note with the skooma what it does is it actually has its own reservoir of pre-filled water which it distributes then once it's done pulling the water out for you it then refills its reservoir by drawing water out of the main tank that's why it goes down after i pour the water which you can see there anyway let's get on to some tasting so here we are, we've run all of the skooma filters for the water setting, okay? So over here we have conventional public juice, public pop, tap water. Over here we have the sunshine support, then we have the hydration boost, and then we have the alkaline boost. So it's try time to try each of these one by one. Let's start off with the conventional pop. Okay, tepid tap water It's what I'm used to drinking. Let's see if we get a slight different bit of flavor with the sunshine support. Or is this something where... I mean, it does taste filters, one second. There is a clear difference in filtering. You can taste that. Um, I need to work out what the sunshine support, sunshine support has in it. We'll put a little bit of information here. Uh, to advise you, um, obviously, now it's time for the hydration. It's water. It tastes slightly uh, smoother, I'd say, than uh, the Sunshine Support. Slightly rounder taste. You can definitely taste a difference with the Sunshine Support. Maybe it's got a bit more vitamin D in it or a vitamin in it that's adding a bit of flavor to it. And then over here we have the uh, Alkaline Boost, which is one of the first ones that I tried. Closer in flavor to the Sunshine Support. Maybe the Sunshine Support has slightly more alkaline in it. And let's go back to uh, the tap water. So, do these taste better than tap water? I will say for starters, they do. They do taste nicer than tap water. Um, they just taste like, I've noticed that there's like a fluoride taste to the water that I have. Um, and I feel like this kind of, I don't know whether it takes it out, but it kind of doesn't, you don't taste it as much. We don't realize you're tasting it until you actually go back to the tap water. I will say my favorite out of all of these has to be the hydration boost. It just feels like a nice smoother glass of water. Um, I can taste the additives here in the sunshine boost but if, and the alkaline, but if I know that those are doing me good, it's not a problem for me. Uh, so that's me trying out these skooma with the minerals added into them. I think really with water, it's less a case of does it add a drastic flavour difference when it comes to sunshine support and it comes to hydration and it comes to basically an alkaline boost like we have here. These are things that are minerals that you want to put into your system. And as far as I'm aware, when you take vitamins and minerals, it's not like a drink it in one day and you feel amazing. It's something that has to kind of build up a compound effect. So if you do want to do that, add some extra vitamins or minerals to your life. And this is a great way to do that. Um, and in terms of the flavor, I must say, there is not a vast difference between the alkaline and the sunshine boost and i will say the hydration boost is probably my favorite i'll probably whack that straight in as well and uh, does the skooma taste better than tap water 100 percent yes and obviously of course you can heat your water as well so you can have an alkaline boost with a tea you can have an alkaline uh you can have a hydration boost with a coffee or you can have a a sunshine boost with a glass of lemon and honey do you know what i mean so it's not bound to using 
for these specific things, bar when you're using the coffee uh, uh, mineral add-on, which is obviously designed specifically for coffee drinking. So yeah, this is a great way for you to add vitamins and minerals into your day-to-day. -day. Thank you, Skuma. And yes, I have been drinking water out of champagne flutes because I'm bougie. So here we are, probably the most important test of all for me, the coffee versus the non coffee, shall we say, balanced water. So I've made two Americanos on a very decent coffee machine. Let's see, this is the normal coffee. Yo, tastes like a black coffee. And before I make a statement, I just want to be clear, I am flushing the system every single time I've changed these filters, which takes a while, but I wanted to make sure I did this thoroughly. And I've used exactly the same bean. You know what? It may be the coffee balance minerals, but I can definitely taste less of a smell as well. The best way of me explaining it is more of a... There seems to be a sharper flavour of the tap water coffee um, and the, fil the skooma filtered water seems to just be a bit of a smoother flavour, like a rounder flavour, like this, I think it's the same... What was I missing? The same... taste difference between the water and the tap water that was kind of chemically you can kind of get in this coffee like a fluoride -y. I don't know if this is the right word to use but kind of like a fluoride flavour I'm getting off this which I'm not getting here which results in a smoother flavour all in all I can say that Skuma does make a nice coffee I would have to make sure that I always filtered the water before putting it into my coffee machine, which is cool, but my coffee machine does also have kind of a filter on it itself, which I did take out for the use of this. So do I want to double filter my water? I don't know. Sometimes I just want to get a quick coffee in, but I can definitely see the hot tap being of use if you wanted to use like a tea bag or something like that. With that being said, with uh, full disclosure, the hot tap feature, uh, when we were running minerals on it, sometimes was a little bit wasn't as hot as I'd like it to be, so maybe if they could work on keeping it really, really hot for the duration of the pour, that'd be great. Um, but other than that, really, really enjoyed the skooma, man. And I think, uh, yeah, it's definitely a nice way of having your water. It's a nice way to present your water as well. If you're in an office and you've got dodgy old tap water coming out of a crusty tap, this might be a way to really make it nice and filled. In fact, I think it's going to be, the skooma's going to be resting in the How To Kill An Hour studio. So if you do come and join us on one of our podcasts or records or shows, you can enjoy it. some lovely filtered water. So in summary, is there a difference in the flavouring coffee? Yes. Is it positive? Yes. Indeed. My coffee machine does have, also have a filter in it, which I took out for the use of this. So I am used to having filtered coffee or water that had been filtered before it makes a coffee. So what I always want to filter my cough, my water before I put it in my coffee machine, maybe that's a bit of an extra step. However, if you don't have that, this is a great thing for you to crack on with.